Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today we are going to be making a chocolate and peanut butter milkshake in this live stream, and we're going to be doing it both on YouTube and Facebook, so come on, join in. We're going to be making these. Um, hello, everyone. So, how are you, Chicken McNuggets, and uh, Matthew St. Dennis, uh, also Urel, Urel, I hope I'm saying it right, David? Hi everyone coming on. So we're going to be making actually a, a Girl Scouts milkshake. These are tag alongs. Now I've made a milkshake before, a Girl Scout milkshake. I use the, um, uh, my favorite kind. I can't think of them offhand. Uh, but we did a few weeks ago. It was, um, ooh, what are they called? It's the ones with the coconut, toasted coconut. Why can't I think of what they're called? Oh, I'm going crazy. Uh, but anyway, we made those as a milkshake. Uh, did you do Thin Mints? I did not do Thin Mints. Hi from Minnesota. Hi, Kim. How are you on Facebook? Hello, you're making Reese's Peanut Butter and Chocolate. Yeah, it's basically a Reese's Peanut Butter milkshake, but it's uh, tagalongs. if you don't know. These are these are Girl Scout cookies that are, it has chocolate and peanut butter in them, and it's like a shortbread. And Samoa's, that's what it is, uh, Samoa's. I made Samoa's milkshake a few weeks ago. Now we're going to be making these using tagalongs as a milkshake. So we're going to do this, but it is essentially a Reese's uh, peanut butter milkshake in a way. Because sorry that my uh, chef jacket's all wrinkly, but I was traveling and everything. So uh, Kyler, how are you, buddy? Uh, hi from Atlanta, Georgia. Huh? I was in Atlanta on the way back from Florida. I stopped in just the airport though. Uh, hi from Ohio. Hi, oh, Clinton, Maryland. Hey, how are you? I'm also in Maryland. Uh, hey, Mike, how are you doing? JS Productions. Hi, how are you? So yeah, we're going to be making these. It's a very simple recipe. I've made a Girl Scout cookies uh, milkshake before. All you really need is a blender. Um, and then from there, you can go and, and get crazy as you like. We're going to use some ice cream. We're going to use some milk. And obviously, since Tagalongs are chocolate and peanut butter, if you don't know. Hey, Yuri from California. Uh, so chocolate and peanut butter. So we're going to add some peanut butter to this too, some peanut butter. And for the chocolate, it's up to you guys. Do you think I should do Nutella? You can't go wrong with Nutella. That's what I say. So the chocolate part, I'm thinking Nutella. But if you guys change your mind, we can always just do some chocolate chips. And uh, you've been subbed for over a year. Awesome. I appreciate that. Hi. How are you, Donna? Hi, Bev. Betty. Uh, hello. How are you doing? Uh, Mike says Nutella. Uh, chocolate chips, AJ says. Um, hi from California. Hi. I'll be in California in a couple months for VidCon. Uh, let's see. Mm, this, uh, Nutella. Rodeo chip says Nutella. All right, so what do you say we get to making this? And um, well, again, before we start making it, I want to decorate the glass we're going to use, and that is up to you guys. Should we use a cup like this or a mason jar? Mason jars are cool, but cups like this, sometimes you can't really see the decorations on a mason jar because of the bubble letter, but we're going to decorate the glass first. So someone says jar, a couple people say jar. Um, someone says no Nutella over on Facebook. Mason jar. Yeah, Mason jar has that kind of cool look to it. Hi, chocolate chips. Okay. Mason jar. So I'm reading comments. In case you don't know, if you don't see a comment I'm reading, uh, if you're watching me on YouTube, uh, I'm also doing this on Facebook. So I see comments on both. And so sometimes I'm reading a comment and you might be looking in the comment thing saying, where is he reading that? Uh, because they're also commenting on Facebook as well as YouTube. So that's why that's happening. So a lot of people are saying mason jar. I think the mason jar won. Uh, yummy, can't wait to see what you make. Uh, Tampa, Florida. Oh, great. I was in Florida for about a week last week. It was really fun, hot. That's why I'm a little bit, you can't really see on camera, but I am a little bit sunburned. Um, use real chocolate, Mark says. Cool. Uh, you'll be right back. Cool. Hi from Mississippi. How are you? Chocolate chips. Oh, so it, it's a close toss between the Nutella and the chocolate chips, I have to say. And we could use chocolate syrup too, so don't worry. We can we can do a lot. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set things up, and then uh, oh yeah, we have to do the jar first before we do that. Yeah, what am I saying? 
I was jealous of your Florida live streams. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with that uh, in Florida. Uh, in case you haven't seen there, I live streamed a lot, both on Instagram, a little bit on Snapchat. The butter beer was great, Karate Joe. So I was with my friends. Uh, they have a YouTube channel called Were the Millers, and they're family vloggers uh, from Scotland. And really pe good people. I've known them now for like three, maybe almost four years. Um, it's really cool. I've stayed at their house. We've made videos at their house as well. They came here for the first time, well, for their kids' first time, went to New York and then to Florida. So we surprised them and had a great time. They're still in Florida right now. Unfortunately, I'm not there, but <laughs> I'm back here now. Uh, digging this from Texas. Awesome. Hi from Australia. Hi. I do want to go to Australia so bad. Uh, can you please make live stream that you make mocha frappe? Oh, McDonald's. Oh, yeah. I've made a uh, frappuccino before on the channel, but it's been a few years, quite a few years. I might have to revisit that. Hi from Oklahoma. All right, so we're going to decorate the glass. Now, one of the first things I like to do when I decorate a glass, let me aim these down so that you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to aim these cameras down. What's the weather like where you are? Um, it's actually a lot like Florida, believe it or not. It's quite warm. It's low 80s. Uh, in case you're wondering, that's probably about 25. 425 degrees Celsius. I'm guessing it's just pure guess. <laughs> I know a little bit about Celsius, but maybe 23. I don't know. All right. So we're going to use the mason jar because that's what you guys picked. Howdy from East Texas. How are you? Tracy, Minnesota. All right, so let's see. You should make Reese's Donuts. Ooh, I do like Reese's. Make Reese's Ice Cream. That's good, too. Good suggestion, because I do like Reese's. I, I love chocolate and peanut butter. All right, so I'm just going to take some peanut butter, and I'm going to put – I'm just scooping some out. I'm just going to smear across the top here. And I think I'm going to do half of this peanut butter, and the other half I'm going to do Nutella, I think. We'll figure it out. It was a close match between Nutella and chocolate, so I'd have to melt down the chocolate chips, get it on there, but I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure it out. We're almost there anyway. All right, so this is what we're doing. It's basically like a freak shake. You just you just want to put a whole bunch of stuff on it to really make it look good, right? You can go inside too. Now, another thing we can do is to get some peanut butter on the inside, there's a couple things you can do. You can, let's see. This is good. Now I'm going to put some peanut butter in this microwavable dish and microwave it just to, to make it like a drizzle. All right. So I'm going to microwave this in about 20 to 30 seconds. <clears throat> what we're going to do is put that in a piping bag. We're going to drizzle it on the inside of this as well. Um, let's see. We're going to go to the Nutella now. Um, let's see. Here. Uh, the USA needs to embrace the metric system. Yeah, we're the only ones not using the metric system pretty much. But, you know, hey, it's what we grew up with. So we're going to put some Nutella on this side. Hey, Photo Finn, how are you, buddy? You got a really good channel. Um, so we're doing this live stream. I'm showing you how to make this every Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Eastern time. In the U.S., we do this live stream where I make a recipe. It's usually something that's quick and easy. So we're making a Girl Scout cookie, which tagalongs this one, milkshake. Something quick, easy that we can make. And we're doing half peanut butter on the top. We're decorating the glass before we actually make the, make the milkshake. I can't talk. Uh, hello from, and I'm doing a live stream both on YouTube here. And Facebook over here. So at the same time, we're kind of taking, you love watching people cook. Awesome. Well, you came to the right place. <coughs> All right. So I melted that for about 30 seconds in the microwave. That's just peanut butter. And you see it's kind of, it makes it really runny, which is what we want. All right. Just mix it up a little bit. We don't want it to be like too, too liquidy. All right, and then I'm going to just put this. You can put this in a plastic bag or a piping bag. It really doesn't matter. All 
but I have plenty of piping bags. Normally you just put it in the cup, but I'm just going to spoon some out. And that's one way you can make like a chocolate or a peanut butter syrup. And it's great over top of ice cream. I could have just poured it in. I have a spout here, but I wasn't thinking. <laughs> Gotta love live streams, people. All right, so we're doing this. And here we go. That's good enough for that. I'll put this aside and out of the way. All right. So now, all we have to do, cut a very small, because remember, this is runny. And we're going to decorate the inside of this. And we can just... I'm just going to drizzle because this is going to be a chocolate and peanut butter milkshake. Look at that. Nice. All right. So I'll just move that aside. And I do make a mess when I am cooking. Now, should I do a similar thing with chocolate? Melt down that. Oh, I know what I can do. Even better. Chocolate syrup. And just to let you know what we have to go on top, we're going to use Reese's. This is... Uh, just came out with it like a couple months ago. These are uh, so Reese's like Cool Whip whipped cream. I haven't tried it yet, so I'll be trying it on camera. So now I'm just going to put some chocolate in here too. Drizzle some chocolate. Look at that. Chocolate sauce, peanut butter, and a big mess. <laughs> All right, so I'll move this aside. Uh, should I? Hmm. Oh, I know what I can do. So let's open up these tagalongs. So in case you've never had Girl Scout cookies, tagalongs are a good Girl Scout cookie. This is how they come. I'll cut one open just so you can see. And actually, I'm going to see if I can cut one. I'm just going to cut a portion of it. Try not to cut it off too much. I'm going to cut it like a little pizza square. Just see if I can... Put it right here like that. Look at that, just for decorations. So basically, you can see it's like a shortbread cookie, then it has peanut butter, then it has chocolate. So that's what a tag along is. And of course, I ate that. All right. So we did that. We kind of got it for the most part ready. Now let's make the actual milkshake. And to do that, I'm going to move this aside just for a moment. We're going to bring in a blender, and the main ingredient, of course, is milk and ice cream, all that good stuff. Glad I have some ice cream left, because I didn't check before I went to the store. All right, not much, but we do have ice cream. All right, so you want to use a few scoops of this. I'm actually going to use all this ice cream. Whatever's left in here. Good excuse for me to buy more ice cream at the store. All right. Uh, you never tried Reese's Whipped Cream. Uh, you should try it one day. Yeah, I know. I haven't tried it yet today, and I knew I was making this chocolate peanut butter thing tonight. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get me that Reese's one and try it out and see how it is. Hopefully it's good. We'll see, though. All right, so this is going to be like maybe three and a half scoops of ice cream in here. You can use as much as or as little as you like. It really just depends on like how thick you want it. You know, some people like a real thick milkshake. Some people like it thin. Um, I'm not going to measure this out, but this is going to be about a cup of milk. There we go. That's about good. Move that aside. Now, what else are we going to put in here? Should we put... We gotta put some chocolate syrup, right? Maybe a little bit more ice or a little bit more peanut butter. Oh, should I actually use that? Or I have extracts. I have peanut butter and oh, this is peanut butter. This is chocolate extract. Mmm. What should we do? Extracts or actual thing? Uh, get some real ice cream turkey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you ever tried Reese's creamy peanut butter? If not, you try. Yes, I have tried it. It's really good. It, it's the good stuff. Hi, Heather. How are you? Use the real stuff. Actual, actual, real thing. Hmm. Actual. 
Yeah, so everyone's saying real thing, real peanut butter. Okay, so we're going to skip the extracts. We're going with the real stuff. So let's put some real peanut butter in here. Um, this is about, about a tablespoon worth. I'm not measuring. We're just figuring it out. Now we have some chocolate syrup. Got to do that. Should I also, oh yeah, I should definitely take some tagalongs and put in there. Some of these Girl Scout cookie tagalongs. Two or three. One, two, let's, what do you think? Two or three? Is two enough or should I go three? Someone says three. Three, uh, looks like three is it. Okay. And I am going to put some Hershey's. Reese's chocolate chips in there. Not a lot. And I know the rest of the world doesn't like Hershey's, but I'm an American. Uh, the more the better. Okay. Uh, is there a milkshake base? So there, yeah, you could do a milkshake base as well and make it thicker. I try to make it so that uh, it's something that most people have in their houses. And, you know, everyone has milk. I'm going to angle that up a little bit more just so that we can see better. All right, so that's that's what we have going on here. Am I missing anything before we start this thing? Of course, the top I'm going to put on. But I think that's it. Anything else? Last call. <laughs> I do have some more decorations. I don't know if I'm going to use them, but, um, you know, hey, we could do chocolate bar and all that stuff. But we're going to have a lot of stuff on there. Use almond milk. Uh, I don't have any on me, but any almond milk in my refrigerator. But, yeah. You should add Reese's whipped cream in here. I will be adding it on top. Hey, Tyler. Peanut butter. Yeah, so we did peanut butter in here. We did um, tagalongs. We did chocolate syrup. We did, we have the ice cream, milk, uh, some chocolate chips. You should add Reese's whipped cream. <laughs> uh, put Reese's in, like an actual Reese's. Should I put, do that? Yes or no? I can put one Reese's in there. Should I? Should I put a Reese's in there? Why not? All right. Someone says, yeah. We're having fun with this, right? You got to have a Reese's in there. So make sure you blend. The <laughs> All right, here you go. So go for it. So we're going to put a Reese's in there, even though it's not technically not a Reese's one, but what the heck? It's fun. We can do whatever we want, right? Reese's candy first. Okay. So I'm going to put the lid on here real tight. Um, it might get allowed for a moment or two, but I'm going to make a milkshake. You ready? Here we go. Blend this thing up. It doesn't take long, that's the good news. So you didn't have to hear that annoying sound forever. All right, let's move this S out of the way, move that aside. All right, I'll show you guys what it looks like here. That's what it looks like. Now we're going to pour it into our prepared glass because why not? So this is our prepared glass. Look at that. Let's move all this, these crumbs out of the way so it looks all good. And Ooh, I almost didn't make enough, I think. Sorry, we have plenty of uh, Reese's whipped cream. Come on, milkshake, come on out. This is what I get for not measuring things, right? <laughs> all right, all right, that's good. All right, so now, so we have that on there. Um, we got to do the whipped cream for sure. Shake this up. Cannot wait to try this out. Hopefully it's as good as it looks. Looks amazing, by the way. Blender sounds really annoying. Yeah. It, oh, darn. Yeah. Turn the hearing aids off when I did a blender. <laughs> he won't let you in. <laughs> uh, oh, look at that. Oh, I'm going to try some of this just by itself. Hmm. It's nice. It's good. All right, so now we got to decorate this some more, right? How should we decorate it? I do have another Reese's. Um, I have some chips, chocolate chips. Ooh, how about chocolate sprinkles? Should I put some chocolate sprinkles on here? Like 
Sprinkle that a little bit with some chocolate sprinkles. Why not? I didn't even wait for you to say yes, sprinkles, but I kind of knew you guys would. I know you by now. Oh, we got to do some, maybe some more peanut butter sauce. I'm just drizzling some peanut butter sauce on here. And then maybe some chocolate sauce, right? Crunch up Hershey bar. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get to the Hershey bar in a minute. Here's what I'll do. Here's a little trick of making chocolate look more chocolate. Somebody says, okay, we're gonna get there. All right. So if you ever have a cheese grater, here's a trick. Take a cheese grater. Take some chocolate. You can get that same effect that you get in those fancy restaurants. Right, and just grate it on there. They actually sell these. I saw these in the baking section, like the grated up little chocolate, and it was a little tiny bottle for only like it was like five bucks for this little tiny bottle. It's crazy. Maybe a chocolate bar here, Hershey bar on the other side. Here, I'll cut the Hershey bar in half. Or Reese's bar, not a Hershey bar. I don't even know what I'm saying now. I'm in heaven overload. Peanut butter and chocolate overload going here. Anything else? What time did you start? A little after six. Uh yeah. For sure. Good point, Tony. <laughs> on you on Facebook. I, I get to eat. Oh, a little more chocolate sauce, someone said. Let me shake this up. All right, now I got a big mess, but I always do. All right, so that's it. What do you guys think? Need a straw, right? Where did my straw go? I had one over here. Don't know what I did with it. We'll get it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, so how's that? Looks good. Yeah, I know. That's the only problem. I have to quickly do this. I do have to get a picture of it before it melts. I'm probably going to just take a picture over here with it real quick because now my hands are a mess. Can't touch my camera with my hands being a giant mess. pictures so I can't take it there it's just so messy so I have to take pictures over here and I will be putting this picture on Instagram eventually so if you're not following me at fun foods YT check it out Right. All right, so this is the final product. What do you guys think? Just notice your silver user board. Oh, yeah, the silver play button is over there. Yep. Um, it's amazing. Oh, yeah. Uh, caramel would have been good, too. You're right, caramel would, and we'll be doing that maybe some other time. Um, there's plenty of stuff we can do with milkshakes for sure. So let me angle this up so we can talk a bit before I before I leave. All right, so oh, that is not high enough. Neither is that one. That's a goal right there. Yep. So anyway, yeah. <clears throat> Wayne is knocking. 
So anyway, guys, this is what we made today in this live stream. We made this. It's actually a Girl Scout cookie. Here it is. So I had these tag alongs. Thanks to my cousin for getting them for me. It's hard to find. Uh, whenever you don't want to find them, there's a Girl Scouts out there trying to sell them all the time. But I was looking for them. I couldn't find them. Maybe still off season. But thanks to my cousin, Joanne, who got me those Girl Scout cookies. And uh, so tag alongs. These are tag along Girl Scout cookie milkshake. It's a tag along Girl Scout cookie milkshake. And this is really good. I'm going to try it in a minute, but thanks for coming on and watching us make it. We have Nutella on the rim here. We have chop our peanut butter. We have chocolate and peanut butter inside there. We even tried the new, what is this called? Yeah, Reese's Dairy Whipped Topping. We tried that too. How do you follow me on Instagram? Uh, real simple. It's Fun Foods YT. YT stands for YouTube, so it's Fun Foods YT. Everything across all my platforms is Fun Foods YT. Really simple. Uh, so what do you say we give this a shot and try it out? And here we go. Mm. Oh, my gosh. If you love chocolate and peanut butter, you're going to absolutely love this. This is amazing. It's my dinner tonight, but it's amazing. So again, my name is, uh, um, let me see. I don't know if I can respond on Facebook. I'm going to type it in. I think so. Hope so. I'm going to type it in on Facebook. It's at Fun Foods YT. That's my Facebook. I just posted it on there and I'll do it. I know I can do it on YouTube. So follow me, of course, on um instagram and it's fun foods yt i don't know why it did that on youtube but uh, that's all right you need to pin your ig okay yeah i'll have to figure out what that means mike i have no clue <laughs> i'm sure it's somewhere in there somehow i have no clue what i'm doing there uh you mean pin the comment i can pin the comment after it's done broadcasting i can do that the recipe uh typically i do the recipe at some point on my website at funfoodsyt.com uh so i will definitely do that you can put girl scout cookies on ebay yeah that's true i could probably have found them on ebay as well i really thought i'd run into some girl scout cookies at some point on like at the grocery store or something but never did um yeah looks tasty by the way thank you thank you for watching so, yeah, I'm going to keep eating this and uh, drinking this milkshake, I should say. Mm. It's quite thick, too. So, it's really good. But, yeah, so thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I know this wasn't a super long one, uh, about 30 minutes or so. I really appreciate you all coming on and watching this. Uh, I do plan on having – I'll have a video up this Saturday, by the way. YouTube videos coming up this Saturday. I know Sunday's my normal day. I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to do my regular one on Sunday or just do the one on Saturday. It's a collaboration. It's what I flew down to Florida for, not with Werther Millers, but somebody else. I'm not telling you who. Um, but, yeah, we did a collaboration video. It's going to come out Saturday morning, I believe, 9 a.m. And it's really cool. We made something really fun, of course, because it's fun foods. And it will be out Saturday morning. I might do a special video on Sunday as well. And look out, too, because I might put – um a little bit of a travel vlog on maybe thursday night so yeah so yeah so i might do that just as a little bonus thing this thursday i might do a little travel thing from either my time in new york or my time in florida so it was a lot of fun either way but thanks again for everyone coming on commenting everything you do i really appreciate all your support and you need a collab man yeah you, you might come on up so we need to do something <coughs> excuse me so anyway, thanks everyone for coming on and as always, I'll see you next time.